Also now at 11, an argument inside an elevator leading to a deadly shootout. The shooting happening inside the Bank of America building in Miami Gardens. That's where we find Nico Clemens live tonight. And Nico, you spoke with people who work inside? Well, Juwan, the shooting doesn't just house the bank, but there are several businesses here. And we also learned that people live here as well. So many people are shaken up after today's tragedy. But that shooting happened on the fifth floor. I spoke with people who were here when the shooting happened and the people who showed up to see if it was someone they knew. Fear. And I just heard boom, 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 boom. And anger. I'm very disappointed. After a deadly shooting inside the Bank of America building on Northwest 183rd Street and 2nd Avenue in Miami Gardens, police say two men were arguing on an elevator Friday afternoon. When the doors opened on the fifth floor, police say one of the men started shooting and the other man shot back. Both men died at the hospital. Then it was like too many police cars and ambulance cars and freaking tape everywhere. This woman who didn't want us to show her face says she works for a hairstylist on the sixth floor and they heard the gunshots below. We heard people yelling help. Other people showed up to work later in the day, only to find out they couldn't get inside. I kind of was expecting something like this because something already happened similar to this a couple months back. Nils Jonko says he has a studio on the sixth floor. He's grateful he wasn't around during the shooting, but is now ready for a change of scenery. Very unsafe. Um, I do plan on leaving very soon. And then there are some who showed up searching for a friend. He's not answering the phone. I can't get him. Avery Twain says his co-worker lives in the building. Once he learned about the shooting, he came over as fast as he could. But when he showed up, nothing from his friend or police. It's kind of disheartening because no one's, it's, I get no real help right now. A violent afternoon that many say, unfortunately, they're used to. It's crazy. I mean, but it's, it's it normal at this point. Okay, so we saw police put a few people in handcuffs. We saw them put one man in handcuffs just right on the property here. And then uh, around the corner across the street, police put a few more people in handcuffs uh, who were over here by the area. So we asked police about that. They told us that they had no one detained. This is what they told us earlier at the time, that no one was detained, but they have several witnesses. Uh, so, of course, a story we are, are staying on top of, but again, tragedy here in Miami Gardens. Two men dead. Police now trying to piece it all together. In Miami Gardens, Nico Clemens, NBC6 News. All right.